In this video, I'm going to talk about applying flatness tolerances with SolidWorks. With flatness tolerances, we really want to worry about two things. Where we're going to put the feature control frame and what's in the feature control frame. So to get started, we'll roll up here to geometric tolerance. I'll click the button. It's going to have an interface where we choose what we want inside the feature control frame. Before we do anything else, we have to choose the geometric characteristic symbol. In this case, it's going to be number two, flatness. I press that button, and now it opens up uh, a few more things I can do. The first thing I'll do, tolerance. I'll click in this box until I get a, a little blinking line here, and this is going to allow me to apply any modifying symbols as well as the actual tolerance, which I'll apply with the keyboard. So I'm going to press OK here. It's going to put it we're in some random place on the field of the drawing. I'll just drag it over here and I'm going to drop it on an extension line or a part outline. One little trick here, it won't apply to the extension line of a datum. Okay, so I'm going to apply it here. It's going to stick to that extension line. If you notice, it can't move up and down. It'll always be on there. It doesn't matter if it's down here, up here. That's all user preference. Typically, I like to put my datum feature symbol, then my feature control frame, and then whatever else is going on over here. So you have an order of precedence. You see your datum feature, what it's modified by, and then where it is. Okay. Another technique, when you run out of room, okay, say if this drawing is over here, and you're running extremely low on space to make this happen, you can click on the feature control frame, come over to the menu, and apply a leader. Okay. And this way you can scooch it out of the way, get things a little bit closer, and you can just as easily apply that feature control frame to the extension line. And again, it's ex actually acceptable to point directly to the part outline if need be. That's going to all be user preference. Now the other way we can apply a flatness tolerance is to a feature of size. Uh, it will, can only apply to a width, so two parallel planes. We'll apply it to this width right here. Okay. So I'll go to geometric tolerance, flatness symbol, give it a numerical tolerance. Okay. And in this way, I can, because it's applying to a feature of size, I can utilize the MMC. Click OK. I'll find where it went and I'll drop it right on my dimension. Okay. And in this way, it's going to stay stuck to that dimension. It won't move around when you make drawing changes.